This is gonna work. <laughs> Howdy folks, Luke Simons with you. Back to the basics 101. We've got ourselves an old antler <clears throat> that I pick up so as not to get a flat tire here and there. And I got to thinking, I use antlers for about everything. This comes off of a white tail, <clears throat> pretty small little white tail. I got to thinking, I was looking at a keyhole saw at the hardware store the other day, and uh, I got to thinking, man, I could make one of them out of a sawzall blade. Now this one here is a metal blade. But look at here. I've got a little finger hole that I could wrap my thumb around, okay? Hand here, and this could be right here. Now I've got this and I've had it for years, and he's a handy dandy little tool and I wouldn't get rid of him. But <clears throat> there's some places you just can't get into with this big top on it. This here, you would have a long blade. That's a, I don't I have no idea how long that is actually. Well, yeah, I do. That is approximately eight, nine inches roughly. I've got an idea. Donald Trump invited the Pope to go fishing. So they were on Trump's big yacht, and of course the media was out there following him and spying on him and, and videoing him off of their little boats. And a little while into it, a big gust of wind blew the Pope's hat right off, and it was bobbing along in the ocean. Well, the Pope about had a canary. And he looked at Trump and said, you don't understand, that hat is sacred. I mean, that was John Paul's and etc. Trump said, don't worry about it. I'll go out and get it for you. So he walked out on the water, picked up the hat, which was still floating, and brought it back to the Pope. The next day, the media released Donald Trump doesn't even know how well, to swim. I don't need this back end here. <laughs> so, I could make that so it sits straight in there by just cutting that end off. So I think that's what we're going to do. This is going to work. <laughs> Thank you. 
This video is dedicated to 65 Ford channel. This is a good channel, family friendly, and very informational. I highly recommend 65 Ford's channel. Tell them I sent you. Well, there you have it. <clears throat> a keyhole saw, or a plumbing saw, or really just about anything. I've got this one set up for with a fine tooth blade, and I made that. This stuff is hard to drill through, I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> I, I went through two blades cutting that. Just junk blades, but uh, bits, I should say, not blades. But look at there. About five and a half inches worth of blade and six and a half inches of handle. Look at that. Fits. I wear extra large glove. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful little tool keyhole saw a couple old screws i salvaged off of something i don't know what and look at there i find these antlers everywhere a lot of our answers are holistic in their nature and the land should provide pretty much all of our our solutions to our troubles when i go to the hardware store Oftentimes, I'm not shopping. I'm getting ideas. So when I seen that fancy wood little handle on basically the same blade as this, and I'm telling you, that's hard to drill through. Let me tell you, that is hard to drill through. But look at here. I just made one. Look at that. Isn't that the slickest little tool you've ever seen? Place for your thumb. Look at that. See that? Look at that. Also, you can put your finger on here. I mean, I can, I can cut about anything with that little tool right there. Pretty slick little tool. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm tickled pink with that. My wife is, you know, a lot of my friends, they get all kinds of funniness out of me because I get the kick out of just the silliest little things. You know, I took a, a cheap blade and I made a keyhole saw. I'm pretty excited about it. I made a plumbing saw. I can cut PVC with this. I can cut copper with this. I can cut, I can cut steel with this. Uh, it's a hacksaw. This is a hacksaw on an antler. That's what it is. I wonder if this deer, if he could see what I did with his antler he shed off. I wonder what he would think. Remember, there's a big difference between antler and horn. Horn is hair. This is bone. And they shed, uh, a deer, this is a white-tailed deer, will shed his horn every single year. So about this time of year, fall, late fall, I, November, I will be looking around bushes and stuff when I'm riding, and I just tie them onto my saddle. 
I get a kick out of this. I am simply living the dream. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. May the Lord guide and keep you.